Luckily, the camera was not in the way. Probably never do that again. Alright, so today, what I've I've been working a little bit already. I did not just start. Uh, what I did today was investigate more. Since the weather is getting gorgeous outside, I investigated my uh, spout, uh, my exterior spout, at the back of the house and see why my water isn't isn't running. And it turns out that it actually is running. But the other problem is you can't shut it off. After the investigation. I found out that there is an, uh, a cap on the spout. So if I start taking that off, water starts sp uh, spewing out off uh, from the threads. And so what I did is I got this. I'm gonna, I am gonna get a little bit, of, a little bit wet, but I think we will be able to use the water this summer. And around the end of summer, we'll try to get that changed to where we could turn the water off before winter. So. Let's do that right now and see what happens. Now, due to, due to me not wanting to, to get the camera wet, I have it zoomed in a little bit because I don't want water ruining my camera. So this is, this is gonna suck because I could guarantee myself I'm gonna get wet. Yeah, I got a uh, bucket right here. So let's do this stuff. The, this is gonna suck. Yep. All right, so guys, like I said, it doesn't fully stop it from uh, uh, from running so that's better than it fully on there we go so now since that was successful on uh, doing because the water's on right now it's not leaking I do have water now coming out of the spout so we're, which we could use for the garden so now what I'm going to do is test the power washer out to see uh, if this wood could be recovered to see if it cleans it very well. But if, uh, uh, if this wood is too damaged, we will end up replacing the deck. And of course, my Ryobi tools will take care of that as well. But I'm honestly hoping that this works because I would like to see clean wood right now, like right now. So we're going to test that out. Got it right here. Just gotta get an extension cord for it. Let's maneuver some stuff. That would have seriously sucked if the camera was right in front of that thing. And this is my first power washer that I've ever owned. Just straightened out and taken care of. I'm thinking that I might have to put a certain end on that. I think the orange nozzle is what I'll probably need.
sun dry that. Let's see what that looks like compared to the, the neighboring boards. That looks a lot better though. But it's not too bad so far. I mean like it's, you know, granted it's gonna take a while to do that. It's, it's powerful enough to do the cars, to do the boat, to uh, do the concrete uh, in the garage, to power wash the house. Uh, you know, it, you don't need a 2600 to 3000 PSI power washer all the time. Because I, because this is going to be like an hour long video if I do this. This power washer is actually doing the trick. It is taking a while. It is now uh, 12.05. So I did 40 minutes to do uh, an additional couple of logs and some trimming around. But that is, oh, that's right. I did do ryobi rebels in there but yeah that the power washer is taking it off now this stuff that's on there has been there for many 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 years many years and it's looking good it's looking good so far but i'm like what a difference oh yeah what a difference so that in uh the power washer was a very good investment to have that i did uh so that is going and i did test the siding of the house it takes everything off so luckily it does so i that uh thanks to that power the ryobi power washer that i got this house will look good on the outside for it uh it'll easily get it ready for me to paint so uh but yes uh that's in con i just want to quickly remind you guys the, the amount of youtube revenue has increased to about 36 dollars so we are doing good just remember, I will be doing, as soon as that gets to around around 350, I am giving away the the one plus 10 inch miter saw. And that is my friend James Spears. He has uh, come to join me. And so yes, we're gonna see what we're gonna do with the Life and Dragon Foundry space because the floor just got in. Today, uh, as soon as James gets here and um, bring you guys along for the ride. <laughs> Stuff's crap. I can't even believe, I can't even believe the real David Nicholas drinks this. <laughs> Let's see that rotary real quick though. Plan on cutting uh, this section out, keep that. I'm not gonna cut the whole thing, I'm just gonna make it, I'm just gonna make it do. <laughs> There you go. I like it, and it just it looks sexy too. It just it looks check, good. It's uh, we're, we'll disconnect it really quick, but check out the power washer. <clears throat> so right now I got my friend James Spears with Life of Dragon Foundries testing out the lawnmower because he wants to get one. <laughs> So he's testing it out because he wants to get one for himself. So, but right now what I am doing is I am going to pack the car and we're going to go start installing the floor to Laughing Dragon Foundries. So, today was a successful day. The power washer did, did. The power washer did a very, uh, a fantastic job with cleaning that off. Look, look at the difference. Look at the difference. So, so I stand by that 1600 PSI power washer that's right here. So, I'm going to end this episode right here because we are going to start doing that stuff. I'm going to load up the car uh, with the saws and the stuff we need to install the floor. But I just want to say one more time of the... Miter saw one the one plus miter saw uh, giveaway. Uh, we're getting there, so that's going to be exciting to uh, when we get close to the giveaway for the 
one plus uh, miter saw. But I'm out of breath, been doing a lot today. It is gorgeous outside, so I gotta load up the car. So this is David Nicholas, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.